Hey everyone, how's it going? In this video, we're going to work through an example of finding how much of two types of fluids should be added to get an ideal concentration. So the problem states that the Royal Fruit Company produces two types of fruit drinks. The first type, which we'll call type X, is 55% juice. The second type, which we'll call type Y, is 80% juice. Now, the company is attempting to produce a fruit drink that contains 75% fruit juice. How many pints of each of the two existing types of drink must be used to make 160 pints of a mixture that is 75% pure fruit juice? So our goal is 160 pints and we want 75% juice. So in this problem, it's actually going to be uh, an algebraic equation that we're going to use. So the first thing we're going to do is kind of figure out if uh, juice type A is 55% juice, then how much of, so if I have like, for example, 100 pints of juice X, how much of that is real juice? Well, it's going to be 55% or 55 pints. Uh, what if I have 200? Well, then it's going to be another 55% and it's going to be 110. So regardless of how much um, of how much juice I have, of type X juice I have, 55% of it is always going to be real juice. So um, however much I add to achieve our goal is always going to be 0 0.55 times x, where 0.55 is the 55% real juice, and x, x is going to be the amount of, ju of juice A, of, of the first type of juice that we add. And we could do the same thing for uh, juice type Y. So it's going to be plus 0 0.80 times Y, where Y is the amount of the second juice that we're going to add. And what does this have to equal? This has to equal 160 of which 0 0.75 is real juice. So what can I do from here? Well, 0 0.55x plus 0.80y equals, and then I'm just going to simplify this. So 1 quarter of 160 is 40, so then 3 quarters is 120. So in the end, I want 120 pints of real juice out of 160 total. And um, what else do I know? Well, X is the amount of the first juice that I add, and Y is the amount of the second juice that I add. So how much is that going to be in total? Well, in total, I'm mixing together 160 pints of juice. So what else can I say? I can say X plus Y equals 160. And you could solve this as a linear equation by solving for y, and then you get y equals mx plus b, plotting it and solving it that way, but that's a little more difficult. So instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just say x equals 160 minus y, and I do this by solving this equation for x. And now what I can do is I can just plug this in here. So I get 0 0.55. 160 minus y plus 0 0.80y equals 120. I'm going to distribute this in here. I'm going to get 0 0.55 times 160. That gives me 88. So 88 minus 0 0.55y plus 0 0.8y equals 120. And now I'm just going to solve this by bringing all the variables to one side and all the constants to the other side. Um, in this case, I'm going to have my variables on the left and my constants on the right. So 0. Point, uh, I'm going to have 0. 0.8 minus 0. 0.55. So 0. 0.8 minus 0. 0.55 gives us 0. 0.25. 0. 0.25y equals I'm going to have 120 minus 88 on the other side. It's going to give me 32, so minus 32. 
equals 32, sorry. And then to solve for y, um, I can either divide both sides by 0.25, multiply both sides by 4. They both give you the same thing. In the end, you get y equals 128. And now it's just a matter of plugging y equals 128 into this equation that's in the box right here. So we get x plus 128 equals 160. And we get x equals 32. So what does it tell us? We need 32 pints of juice x and then 128 pints of juice y. And let's just double check that. So 32 pints of juice x, which is 0 0.55 or 55% real juice gives us a total of 32 times 0.55 is 17.6 pints of juice. And then we're going to do the same thing for juice Y. So we have 128 pints of juice that is 80%. And that gives us 128 times 0.8. 102.4 pints of juice. So in total, we have 6 plus 4 gives us 10. We carry the 1. This gives us another 10. So we get 120 pints of juice. And now, originally, we wanted... Let's see what we wanted. We wanted 160 pints, 75% of which was pure juice. So 75% of 75% um, of 160 equals 120. So these two answers agree, which means this is our final answer. I hope this video helped. If you have any questions, let me know. And as always, happy studying.